Hey Peaches, I'm Shelby and welcome to this week's broadcast. I wonder what's going to happen this week. Let's let Lauren inform us. Hi Peaches, welcome to this week's announcements. On Monday, February 28th, 5th grade has makeup articulation. It is spirit week, so we get to dress up as our favorite animal. It is also chocolate souffle day. On Tuesday, March 1st, Kindergarten has articulation, and it is black, white, and gray day. It is also pancake day. On Wednesday, March 2nd, 1st grade has articulation, and it is Dr. Seuss day. You can dress up as one of his characters. It is also banana cream pie day. On Thursday, March 3rd, 2nd grade has articulation, and it is rainbow day. Wear any combinations of the colors of the rainbow. It is also World Wildlife Day. By the way, it's the day that the Nene Book Award votes are due to Mrs. Kim. You must go to the library website to vote. On Friday, March 4th, there is no articulation, but it is pajama day. Have fun going to school in your pajamas. Sixth grade has the Panda Express fundraiser. That is it for this week's announcements. I hope you have a good week. Congratulations, Haley Hawakawa in Mr. Hill's class. Her design was chosen for this year's Fun Run t-shirt. Thank you, everyone who participated. Wow, that seems like a cool week. Thanks, Lauren. I'm pretty hungry. Let's have Kyla tell us about lunch this week. Take it away, Kyla. On Monday, February 28th, we will be having fish sandwich, wedged fries, veggie sticks, baked beans, and a fruit slush. On Tuesday, March 1st, we will be having cheese pizza, salad, baby carrots, and craisins. On Wednesday, March 2nd, we will be having hot dog and bun, tater tots, baby carrots, veggie sticks, and pineapple. On Thursday, March 3rd, we will be having Crayon Macaroni, Coleslaw, Steamed Corn and Edamame, and Oranges. Lastly, on Friday, March 4th, we will be having Roast Pork with Gravy, Rice, Steamed Broccoli and Carrots, and Strawberry Kiwi Juice. I'm excited for the week ahead of us. I think it's about time to do Peach's Mindsets. Jacob, David, D, and I will be sharing examples of embracing challenges. Hi, Peaches. Welcome to this week's Peaches Mindsets. This month's topic is embracing challenges. I am not afraid to take risks. I can always learn more. I am okay in, with being in the learning pit. I approach challenges with a positive attitude. You can embrace challenges by facing every challenge you come across. We don't grow when things are easy. We grow when we face challenges. Embracing challenges was our Peaches mindset for this month. Next month, we'll have self-awareness. Bye! I hope that encourages you to embrace challenges even though it's hard. Hmm. Have you ever wondered what might happen if dinosaurs were still around? Well, let's have David Y, Andrew, and Ryton figure that out for us. Hello, Peaches. Today, we'll be asking all of you, what if... Dinosaurs were still around. Hello, I'm here with Alana. So Alana, what if dinosaurs were still around? Well, I think they would just destroy every entire, entire, every entire building and kill all the people. Okay, that sounds... Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, that sounds slightly accurate. Thank you. Hello, what's your name? Yeah, yeah. So what, what do you think the world would be like if that for this day? He would be dressed up in all the people and be dead. That is a very sweet answer. Thank you. What if a dinosaur was still alive? Thank you. So Brooklyn, what would it be like if dinosaurs were still around? Dinosaurs eat me. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, I think it's time for some bloopers. Oh, wait a minute. 
Thanks, David Y, Andrew, and Wrighton. That was such an interesting topic. Next, Dylan and Mackenzie will share some opinions with us. Welcome to this week's feature. This week's question is, Would you rather go to the beach or the park? We hope you are all ready for some interviews. Let's get started. Go to the park. Park. Beach. Park. I like the beach better than the park. Beach. Beach. I would I rather choose the beach. I I would go to the park because I like hiking trees. <laughs> I would go to the beach because I get to surf. I would rather go to the beach because I like to go swimming. We hope you learned about students' opinions about what they think about the beach and the park. See you all I'm later. I'm so glad you can hear everyone's opinions from time to time. Now that we've heard people's opinions, let's learn some facts. Take it away, Samuel. Right, today's topic is him. There he is. Praying mantis have outstretched arms and are rare. They also get their names by how they look. Males are smaller than the female. Praying mantis can fly and eat their own predators. Looks like the tables have turned. Haha. Also, they go anywhere that they can camouflage. Well, that's all for this week. You know. Bye. My driver's license last week. Well, that's really good. I'm to be singing, my ears are bleeding. Stop, Christian. Come on, Lily. <laughs> hey, weirdos. I've actually even make a shot yet. Just stop, Christian. We're done with you bullying us. You're always making us feel like we don't belong here. Okay, I'm sorry I made you feel that way. Do you want a panta? Sure. Inattentiveness to your surroundings could affect your judgments. This could result in an injury or worse, a fatal accident. I should put away my phone and watch out for cars. That's all for this week's broadcast. I hope you all have a good week.